balloon for five. I'm going to be taking the camera, since I have a long cord on it, to a certain location. Well, about as far as I can go with it. You can see I have two 30 gram weather balloons inflated here. Made by two different companies. Well, yeah, one made here in the States, I believe. That's the black one. And this one, the white one, well, it may have come from a company called Leather Measure in California, but the stamping on the inflation nozzle said Japan. And I can tell you, it's not Totex. Now, I'm going to put this camera on a good vantage point that I can think of right now. Oh, yeah. Hmm, like this chair. Why didn't I think of that before? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Now you take this white latex weather balloon. This one doesn't have... I mean, yeah. It's a 30 gram, 36 inch size weather balloon. But it doesn't have a lot of give the, that I can tell you. I'll show you the other one in a moment. Trade places with it. This one... I believe, yeah, made by Kmart. Now, look at this. This one has a little bit more give to it than that white one, as you can see. And it's been inflated a few times. That white one has been inflated a lot, too, you know, but it doesn't stretch out like this one and get bigger. Like I said, it's supposed to be 36 inch size pilot balloon or weather balloon. And the one made by Toltex, Toltex, excuse me, has the same amount of give when stretched out and inflated many times. Unlike uh, this one, hmm, this is a tough, now so, like I say, a kind of stiff weather balloon. It doesn't stretch as much. It gets tighter. If I can lay on it, it might pop. You know, I don't know when it'll pop, though. But I've had some pop on when I've inflated them a little too much, like this guy. If it gets as big as this guy, it'll explode. The black one, I mean. Gets past four foot or whatever, it will pop. And like I said, it doesn't have that stretch. It only stretches enough. So it'd only be one thing. You maybe put too little of something in it or too much of the other. One guy said it was plasticizer. Hmm. Maybe put too much plasticizer in it. Or maybe too little. Hmm. So there are differences. In weather balloons. Subtle differences, we might say. Now, you also take those, take one in particular, tan color. I'm not sure if that's latex or not. But that one in particular I do have with the sail tail, I guess it is latex because I can patch it easily. However, the one, the other one made by, like I found out, made by Totex, isn't latex at all, because I tried patching one up. It didn't, the patch didn't hold. It just peeled right off. There was something that could be done for it. 
However, I did get lucky with a chloroprane balloon with a pinhole. I mentioned in another video. The pinhole sealed up after I put the rubber cement on it. And it's been solid ever since. So, this is Balloon 4-5. Enjoy your balloons to the fullest. You all know I do. And will always do just that.